Hello everybody and a good day to you all. The day I'm talking about Tell Me a Story, season number one, episode number seven. Chapter seven, Betrayal. The episode is directed by um Millicent um um Shelton Shelton. And we have a lot of messed up things happening. Now you have Kayla, who is going with her teacher, and when she realized he wanted more from her than she was willing to give, she broke it off. Because he pretty much because he told her that he was in love with her. And that's not freaked her out. He said, whoa, oh, dude, we just met. I like you and all, but I'm not in love with you. So I think we need to stop this right now. Because I'm getting out of, bit of, out of a hand. And the messed up part is, he just killed the man for her. Well, killed the boy for her. And so, but she doesn't know that. And now he's going a little bit, but cra he's going crazy now. He's going full crazy. Which causes him to pretty much stalk her dad. Which is not good. And so she finds out about this. And she pretty much tell him, leave my father alone, you leave me alone, we're done. And because of her friend Lanny, they, they, they got to they figure out who is this guy. And, and, they, and they, they do a little background search and they realize he's not exactly who he says he, so he, says he is. So now they're, now, they're, now, they're out, now they're trying to figure out, is he dangerous or is he something, or he's just, or he's just something else. Or whatever, whatever it is, he lied. Why? We don't know. And we got to find out, just in case... Well, our life is our, is in danger. Then you have what's going on um, with um with their with their dad. Uh, Tim, and he's trying to figure out what's going on with Jordan. Jordan and Tim are friends. Jordan gave um his dad his, his job at working as the chef there. And he's he's worried about his friend because well his, his fiance just got killed right in front of him and he's going he's going down a really dark path and even though um Tim trying to do everything to, to, to save his friend it's not working and so he he goes there with the help of um Katrina and Katrina has a has a crush on him he has a crush on her too and so they they go together to pretty much try to save Thomas I mean trying to save Jordan they realize he's in a very bad way even though they don't see him they see his apartment and it's a hot mess wow it's bad it's bad. And because of this, it caused, it forces them to get closer, a little bit, a little bit more. I mean, I mean, um, Jordan. No, I mean Tim and Katrina. Because then you have Jordan, who's going full down the, the, the dark rabbit hole. He's taking on this whole three little pigs storyline. He, he thinks he's himself as the big bad wolf, but he's not. He's not the big bad wolf. He's just a man who's grieving, and he's he, and then his rage control him. Even though he's not a killer, a lot of people are dying around him from the pigs. You got um, you have um. Uh, Mitch, no, I'm Mitch. What's his name? Eddie. Eddie, who's the brother of Mitch, younger brother of Mitch. He dies because he killed himself. Because Eddie killed his, killed his girlfriend because he thought he was shooting um, Jordan. But he, he realized, because Jordan had been tor torturing him, tormenting him a lot. And so he's he's kind of on he's on drugs he's been drinking he's a little bit high a little bit and he's extra paranoid now because he he did a crime. And so and you got um, Jordan constantly egging him on and teasing him making I mean not teasing him kind of like um torturing him mentally. And so when he attacks back he ends up shooting his girlfriend and he thinks he's shooting um thinks he's shooting Jordan and the things go bad from here and his grief he shoots himself. And even though Jordan is trying to get the guy who killed his, who killed his fiance, and now people are dying around him, he hasn't really killed anyone. And every, every time he gets the opportunity to kill, he does it because he says because he, it's not in him. Even though he's doing a lot of messed up things, he kidnapped he kidnapped the woman in this episode, which is really messed up. I mean, he kidnapped Mitch's Mitch's wife, and Mitch and Mitch's wife was planning on leaving um him in the first Shelly, trying to leave, leave him in the first place because he knows she because she knows he's lying about something, but she doesn't know exactly what it is. No, she doesn't trust him. And because of this whole situation right here, it just makes matters worse. And so now he's going down the wrong path, and even more people die, even though he's, he's not really, he's responsible, but he hasn't done it himself. And you also find out about the guy who is the, um, the last pig. And you find out who, who he actually is, which is really not good. Then you have what's going on with um, Hannah and Gabe. They're on the run now. Um, they they have been captured by these by these police officers who who's working for the bad guys who's trying to kill them and want their money back. 
and they think, and, and you got um Hannah and Gabe. They, they split up. They go. They, they split up. And but and so you got Gabe who thinks he finally got away. Thinks everything's going good. Turns out not not so much. And then you have Hannah who thought she finally got away too. And well, things just got worse for them. Worse for them. And the messed up part is all this happens because of Hannah. This problem could have been stopped and avoided and it went over with a long time ago. Yes, Gabe was involved in the guy who got killed. It was an accident, but they, somebody else covered it up. They could have just let it go from there, lived their lives, no one had been the wiser. But Hannah had to take that bag of money. She had to take it. And that now their life is going on the toilet because of it. Overall, this is a pretty good episode. It's not, it's not very, very intense. Watching these people's lives like f just start to fall apart. I mean, you've seen this teacher Nick, who's just going pure crazy. Cause he started off seeing as, as a nice guy, and you actually was like kind of on his side a little bit. Even though and then he went full on wrong, like they were constantly dating and going with Kayla and sleeping with her. I just what? They, and now he's going full psycho. I just like wow, that was a huge jump. You got J Jordan. Even though you do feel it's bad for him, you understand his reasoning. You can't go down the same path as him because he's torturing people. Even, <sighs> Even though he hasn't killed nobody, he's still doing a lot of messed up and or wrong things. Instead of the police handle it and do it to themselves, he feels as though he got to do it. But even though he has no idea what he's doing, he has no skill or no training, he, he's going to be against bad people who actually do, actually would kill you. He has, he, and he thinks he's this big, bad, big, bad wolf, but he's not. He's not. He really isn't. Come push comes to the shove, anytime he has the opportunity to actually kill, he backs down. <sighs> And then you have the whole thing going on with um with Tim and Katrina. And even though um I don't I actually do like the relationship between Tim and Katrina, I think they make a, like I like the chemistry between them. I feel as though it's like bad timing. It's bad timing. Because he should be working on his daughter, trying to get to know her and mend the relationship so they become a better father. Even though they, they had a good first morning this this episode, he's still not working on it as much. Like he tries a little bit. And then she she ignores him, and he said, "Oh well, that's all I can do." Like, no, no, dude, keep 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 going. She's the child. And, he, and the thing is, though, he, it was it, it was it was Contrita who who pretty much encouraged him to, to keep on moving forward and trying to mend the relationship. But at the same time, he's he's also trying to make something happen between her, which is not something. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them being together, but it's just that it's the timing is just not right. Like, fix your house first before you try to try to get some, try to get try to get try to get laid. Fix one problem before you work on the other thing. Yeah. But overall, great episode. Really did enjoy it a whole lot. Leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Tell Me a Story. If you, if you, if you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Hope when you watch it, you will enjoy it. Have fun watching it too. So give my channel a big old like. Hit the thumbs up. Shabu. And subscribe to my channel. And share. I really appreciate it. Like I always say, in my dreams in my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.